So, I'm in Wales. Brought your kids down. They're over there somewhere. Behind me over there somewhere. Proper nice place. Um, it's 30 degrees and I've got about a mile walk to the beach um, where we'll introduce you to somebody that will pop down to sea for the week. So I'll be back in a minute and no doubt this will sound crap because my mic's not working well. I know that we've always, we say it time and time again, but this pond that Lee's got, all I can say is, I hope that I can get some of these fish, or some of my fish to a good standard of some of these, because I tell you now, the Benny and the Sumi, and the Sashi, everything on some of these koi, absolutely fabulous and he doesn't Lee doesn't give himself enough justice I don't think because I've been to a few koi shows now and Lee has got some potential here for some very very well some awards I think coming on into the new year The setup itself as well. Considering Lee's done this is himself, he's done a bloody good job as well. For somebody that has got limited experience, um, you should you should be um, aiming to achieve this if you can if you can do it. A little bit of time and a little bit of planning. Pucker. I'm a little bit wet because I've just been bowling some fish up with Lee and one a little bit crazy when it seemed me to be fair but honest to god a very beautiful pond and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put his new pond in simply because um i don't want to spoil any of these footage so i don't know when his footage is coming up but all i can say is that he's done a bloody good job yeah and i'm glad that i'm down here so hello to be honest uh, um, because Lee's been bowling the fish up, they've all gone in towards the fish out, so it looks like it's just got a bit cuddly in this car. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. So there's Lee filming. Oh, well, mate, you bowled them all up? Not all of them, it's about half of them. Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah, go in. So I'm going to nick any of your footage. No, this is open. perfect just for. If, if you've got an hole in your garden, why don't you put a pond in it? Because this is more than manageable for most people and it, it wouldn't cost a bomb either. So. Welcome back another episode of the one and only crafty koi so right guys um i can't remember what i filmed so i'm starting again and i can't bother to look back at it so um so fiberglassing was put off due to the weather i did put a community post out um you know it is what it is i can't do much about it so um not that it matters so much to be honest it just would have been nice to get done but you know we can't have everything our own way the whole time so anyway i've been um about a week underway went and 
see um went down to lee with a family and we had a couple of drinks and a couple of meals and whatnot I took him down his floating basket that you've probably already seen uh, which was a good uh, facebook buy um and um i've been doing <laughs> I've, I've been doing a little bit of working out, a bit more sketching on the returns, etc. Changed my plans again. Um, but that said, um, it is for the better. I bet you've got a big shot in my nostrils then. Um, so I have been quite busy. Um, and we're looking, um, or I've been looking and dry fitting some of, some of the pipe work. Um, I'm not going to lie it's been an experience and um, I think I'm already there so but one thing I'm, I know is that the price of fittings is whoo and that when you use the uh, grey pressure fittings um, yeah the price of them gets quite staggering but Lee helped me out massive um, saved me a couple of quid with um, with with a couple of um, freebies actually. I'll show you what they are in a minute, but you know, I'm glad he's got an OCD, not not for not for being horrible, but because it helped me out. So let me spin you around, I'll show you. So then, ball valves, one and a half inch, two inch. Also got a Tempest bracket set. Right, and that's the four to two that comes from the Nexus um, and I bought this as well and basically because I'm going to change my filter house slightly again um, all I'm simply doing is I've got the week off so I am building now I am building the wall across the back for the filter house um, we're still going to come down the same line that I had before down here um, but then on this run we're keeping this line but then I'm actually going to be coming out there and in there uh, and what these silver strips are or stainless steel strips um, they basically sit up against the wall right so they're drilled in like drilled into the wall like flat obviously and then what you do is you clip these in and then you build against them so it basically ties walls to existing walls so um, I didn't originally have any plans so I haven't got any ties like um, what you see in other people's builds that comes out of the mortise um, like so uh, the, these are actually really good only 13 quid for a, for a pair uh, and you do get um, some decent stuff in with it. Now, um, what we're doing with the pipe work is we've still got the four inch coming up here. Okay, that's going to have a slide valve. The four inch going out there will have a slide valve. That's for the purge. We'll cover that bit off later, but that's remaining exactly the same. We've got uh, a two inch coming down here that's then going to run into the inlet here all right and then we've got a bypass set up um, so we can control the flow into the um, air source heat pump uh, it's then going to come out down the back wall and then sweep bending it round across the bottom okay now all I'm using is free returns now um, I've, I've looked at tried tested tried to work out in my head how to do it but I'm using free returns but um, all I'm simply doing off here is I'm teeing off of here up to there with a ball valve I'm teeing up to the bottom one uh, with a ball valve in the middle and then this one is then going to incorporate the Nexus I'm going to put uh, sorry not uh, the, the Tempest sorry not the Nexus the Tempest in this side uh, it's going to be a ball valve fitted just here uh, that's going to go straight into the bottom I'm not using um, the, the uh, slide valves on that and put the ball valve in this bit um, and then that's then going to come up and then return into there so what I can do is I can then isolate each one of these or t 
present 50% of uh, of the flow rate, etc., to all three of them. It's you know it gives me the ability to shut that off and use them two, or shut that off and use these two. Blah de blah. Now the skimmer will come down here. It will then uh, go to pump. It'll go off a T off there and then return to there. But there'll be a ball valve in here, and then the other side it will go round the back and then up the side and then into the backy shower. So that's the plan. Um, but before we before we get into the pipe work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring um, or I'm going to build the wall up this side, down here, and then across there, and in this section here, um, I'm going to build a so out of here, and I'm going to build a cross, right? But I'm going to leave myself a door. But this bottom layer stayed in place. So I'm going to have to step over that. With the airline itself, okay, that's going to get cut down. And I've ordered some uh, 90s. I've still got to get a one inch ball valve so I can control the flow. Now what I'm going to do here is once that pipe works in, I'm then going to bring, I'm probably going to chamfer this down, run the pipe work underneath, underneath ground and then bring it up the wall and then I'm going to tee it off. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tee it off uh, so when when I use the air, I can deliver some of the air to the tempest that will be here and the other going to either the bottom drain or um, depending how time goes, I mean, I'll still probably do that to be fair, but I will, I am looking to do, um, run an air bar across the back, uh, just above the returns. So it just pushes out nicely. That's the plan. That's the plan. So I've got a little bit to do. Um, so I'm waiting for, in order to get all my pipe work fitting uh, in, I'm uh, waiting for the delivery. So I delivered that from Absolute. Uh, I ordered that from Absolute, sorry. Um, yeah, back to the building. And then, um, you know, the, the other thing that I've done, I'm not sure if I showed you, but let's show you again. So the other thing I've done is I built, I've put this on, okay, so um, this is the framing for uh, the tarpaulin, so that's coming out a good, what, one, one, one and a half feet off the back of the pond, All right, so I'm going to wrap around that, and then um, I've then also, I've got to add to this, so it looks like uh, what I may be doing is getting the tarp off and then um, pulling it nice and taut and then running some bungees out down here to keep it nice and taut so I'll get a, another little apex off there. Now I used a couple of old uh, black pipes that I had. Um, now they have got uh, a slight concave in them now so when when the tarp's on it'll be over the top of that and that will run off of the back fence so it won't go into the pond and then obviously this side there will be um, at Matt's request a little bit more space down here um, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add anything into my sleepers because I don't want to so what I may do is put something actually in the bed itself, dig it out, put a couple of a uh, couple of posts in, and run it off that way. But I'm undecided, so we'll see see what happens to that. Because um, Matt likes um, a bit of space there for the air to be able to circulate. I didn't realise that, but all in all, you know, it's not the worst. Um, also got all these fittings in here as well to go on so you know it's amazing how many fittings you need I'm gonna lie I didn't think it would be as much as what it is but it is what it is so anyway I'm gonna crack on now uh, I've got my boy back from the army so I'm gonna use a bit of his muscle uh, to move some of these concrete block um, yeah move some of the concrete block uh, down here and then also uh, going to move the ballast that was surplus from when we put the base in um, and then start clearing that 
on the floor down there because um, all the earth we've got stored here in the bin bags and also uh, that's just dry tipped just there um, we're going to start introducing into the garden uh, to level it out um, also got some um, I don't know what the words are a little surprise um, because I've also got my daughter here and she's going to go mental when she sees what we've done anyway I'll see you in a minute So then we have, well it's starting to rain again, uh, good morning by the way. So it is Tuesday and the sky has decided to deliver us some water, um, which is at the moment a little bit like rocking horse crap. So anyway, uh, done a little bit yesterday, um, some big old rain starting to fall not a problem so um what i'll do is i'll just spin you around show you what what i got up to and um what we will be getting up to today so just bear with me so down the side of the pond uh back filled with a real decent amount of concrete uh, i'm going to dig a little bit more out of here um, and because that slopes off what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to block this off here, and then I'm going to backfill all that just there as well. Um, and the reasons for that will become more apparent in later episodes. Um, down here, again tidied up down here. Um, I cut away a bed there, so I've got a nice slab. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is building a wall out here and then down to there like that so um, and then we're going to carry on with the build on the filter house um, what's going to be quite interesting is that the boy is still in bed so when I start mixing the uh, muck up he will uh, he will most definitely be rudely awakened but um, we also I also managed to move all the concrete block that I had left at the top there down to here um so hopefully by the end of today all of that will be gone so um then um i then need to start thinking about what i need to do with uh the entrance i think i'm going to put the entrance in this side i think here uh it's a bit of a, a pain in the backside ain't gonna lie so the other thing that I've done, I don't think I've mentioned, is that I levelled up the nexus uh, to the pond height. So I've actually gone with that bit there. Okay, so I know that that is slightly higher than the top of the pond. So when you look there, right, it slopes off slightly, which is perfect for me um, so that, that's resting at the right height I need to twist that around a little bit so I can get the drainage uh, around the right way um, and then once this is built up um, we can then do this the piping if it arrives so but before I get on with any of that um, I'm going to put those stainless steel uh, wall starter kits uh, on the wall so I can tie into them um, so I'll come back to you very shortly do you like her? yeah <laughs> do you want her? yeah rather than a fish? yeah god you're lucky Oh, she's wagging her tail, look! She must like ya. She thought she was coming to buy a koi. In fact, she, well, not her, me. So, we just travelled hour and a half to get here. And this is what we get, look at this. 
All right? Yeah. Do I get a kiss or anything? Yeah. Right. Oh, crikey. That's about the fifth time I fell off there. So. Oh, excellent. Uh, a quick update. It's Wednesday today. Uh, it's been raining all day. Uh, well, on and off, not like some parts of the country that have been flash flooded. Um, right, quick update. I'll show you what I managed to get done. Um, it weren't as much as what I wanted due to the fact of the clip previous. Um, but nevertheless, it's some good progress. So let me spin you around. Right, so I'm going to take two on this bit because I'll just uploaded the footage and this bit weren't here so I have um, got quite a bit done I found these a lot harder to put together than them ones less forgiving I think it's because they're more upright if I'm honest more uh, length face so that they sh you know they give you less issue uh, more issue when they're not quite lined up that way but hey oh it's what it is so um, four blocks high um, got the corner in this is where the door is now I am going to do um, a step up here okay um, and that'll probably incorporate then a little boundary of flowers around there um, back walls there so uh, sorry yeah the rear walls there the back wall on the fence I think I'm going to go a bit higher and then as a structure above um, I'm thinking I may go to sort of this height and then put um, a pitch roof on like so uh, with a timber timber affair um, not quite decided on what I'm going to do on the outside yet but that would give me a decent a decent sized door to go in and out of there um, once the back is built that is where the electrics will go on here um, now I've also um going to be bringing a t-section onto this and then we're going to go out to there and then into a reservoir that i'm going to dig down here excuse me down here um and obviously the air source heat pump will come out the back as well um, now one thing i have done is i've repositioned um the nexus so now uh, my waste pipes uh a square onto the the rear of the pond that way i can run drainage out down the back through and then down into the reservoir as well um so just waiting on the fittings now um on top of that um i have now put my tempest in place so that's gonna it's gonna come off the bottom so the bottom will run along here um, and then into that so I'm going to put two 45s on there uh, to get it up to the right level then that will then drop off and then straight into that return um, obviously from here I'm then going to go to that one and then that one up there as well so they're, they're going to have two T's off that one is going to have two 45s into that a 90 and a 90 into there so um, there will be a ball valve situated on here for that for the tempest a ball valve for that a ball valve for that and then the skimmer is going to situate itself in there and that will also be teed off between the backy and the center return so that's the plan anyway so i just thought i'd give you the update now i didn't do as much as i wanted to and that's merely down to the fact um, of the weather and yesterday i obviously had to go and uh, get the new hound so um but you'll see right in the bottom right hand corner down there that's the back end of the wall so that will come to there so overall not a bad size uh, filter house now also if i keep the wall at, um, a reasonable height when it comes to changing that um, which i will have, i have got plans to do not for a drum but for an updated filter um, i can simply take it out over the top and then put the new one back in so um that's the plan anyway right i'm going to re-upload this one now and then put it in the bit that it was supposed to be in a, a second ago so 
Uh, also got a text off Matt yesterday, and mine's where I need to respond. Um, looks like fiberglass in should be going ahead next week. So uh, need to get a tarp up on here with a little bit of um, added modification. Um, wish I'd done it sooner um, just to test it out, but unfortunately um, I didn't. So have a look. So you see we've got some water in there. Um, I'm not too bothered. It needs to come out and it needs to dry. Um, so is what it is can't do much about that but ultimately you can see we're holding quite a bit of water on it so it's what it is can't can't grumble uh, quick look at the fish fish ain't looking none too shabby either uh, do a clean tomorrow Water's looking a bit hazy, which tells me it's time to have a bit of a change. Yeah, um, I had a couple out and measured them the other day, and I've put some good size on a few of them um, due to the water temps. Are, water temps are currently, even in this sort of humid capacity, they still sat at 20 degrees, so um, it ain't too, it ain't too shabby. But I think you'll see that. They don't look too shabby either. That goshki might look very nice. So in the same old fashion, um, I wanted to do a bit more filming today but couldn't. Well, could have, but I didn't want to work out in the rain. I've also got the other thing uh, keeping me occupied at the minute because we have got a staffy and um, he's not the most socialised. So it's been a bit of a, let's say, stressful, but pleasantly stressful um, experience. So... Um, Right, so thank you to everyone that supported the channel already. If um, you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button, give us a like and a comment down below. Um, any brick is out there. If you know the um, best way of getting the extra level in order to get it up, um, give me a, a little comment down there as well, or anyone with any experience in that matter. But in the meantime, um, this is where I say enjoy the koi. I ain't going to show you mine again, so you have to look somewhere else for it. Maybe back on my episodes. Uh, There's a good one, actually, of the stock before it moved into there. So when I move them over, you'll get to see a good comparison. So hit the like anyway, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.